Welcome back to Land Performance. Today I'm Casey and today we're going to be working on our rear end that we just got back from Frank Franklin Racing. Uh, they just rebuilt it for us so we're going to be putting on the bird cages and the hubs and getting the rotors and all that stuff on and putting it back up underneath the car tonight so hope you guys enjoy. So right now I'm going through the bird cages, making sure everything's freed up. Just this thing was like locked up. So this car when we got it was not maintained very well, so we're finding a bunch of stuff that we have to go through. Um, Casey's taking the rotors off. Those rotors are good, so we're just going to put those rotors on the new hub. So he's going to work on that. I'm going to go through the bird cages here, get them cleaned up. I'll make sure all the bearings are freed up, which I already did that, that's good, but make sure all these mounts are all good, um, and then start putting them on the rear end, so. Yeah. Are we yeah. Alright, welcome back. Last night me and Casey got all the bird cages on and uh, all that stuff set up. Just have to finish locking them down. Um, we didn't finish assembling the hubs. We didn't have the, uh, the right bolts. We had coarse thread, 5 16 bolts for the rotors instead of fine thread. So, had to stop and get those. Um, also have to lube the bearings, grease the bearings up, put the seals in and uh, finish all that. So. Casey is at Archery League and with a couple of his buddies. So I'm going to work on that this morning. He's going to be back later today and help me get this thing underneath here and get the front hubs on. Um, we're going to work on this thing all day um, into the night. It's Saturday. So um, we're going to pull a long one today and try to get a bunch of stuff done. So I'm going to get started. All right, let me show you how I grease a bearing. Um, I'm using um, a polymer grease. It's called uh, Day Lube. It's made in Dayton, Ohio. Um, it's a low friction grease that doesn't change viscosity with, with heat um, like traditional grease does. Uh, you don't need as much. It has better, better cleaning ability everything like that so um, you just inject it with I use these uh, syringes you go every other space between the rollers and you just put the syringe in there like that and squeeze that was a little bit much just fill that void up in between every other roller So I've got these three done already. I'm going to finish this one up, then uh, put a light coating of grease on the races and set these bearings and then put the seals on.
All right, so we've got the rear end set up. Um, got all the bird cages on, brake floater, caliper bracket, all that stuff locked down, pull bar plates back on it, slid underneath the car. It's ready to start uh, hooking up to the, uh, the bird cages to the four link rods and uh, J bar. Um, I did get a couple other parts uh, for the J bar setup that we're gonna be putting on this year. I bought a uh, Weir's climber. Um, just to uh, help everything adjustability and uh, not have to adjust the length of your J bar. Now the J bar, we're putting a, a longer adjuster on it. As you can see, um, the adjuster that's on it is almost out of thread. So um, kind of worried me when I got on a rough track. So we're gonna put those uh, J bar parts on there and get all this uh, four link rods hooked back up and pull bar hooked back up, get it back on the ride height sticks and get the thing setting on its tires again.
All right, so finished up for today. Got the uh, front suspension buttoned up, um, all except for the spring, which we'll do that when we do our final setup. Then the rear ends all installed, all the four link rods installed. Um, it's pretty much set up close enough for now until we put our final setup on it. Then once it's it's sitting at race ride height, we'll index the bird cages and, and go over all that stuff. But for right now, the suspension's where it needs to be for uh, until we do our final setup. Um, next time we come back, we're gonna be putting the deck on. I have that all bent up, as you've seen in the last video, but um, we just need to pull the plastic and rivet it all down. Um, so when we come back, me and Casey will start on that. So I'm gonna go in and watch the last night of Volusia after I clean up the garage. So we will see you next time. Soundstrike.